Hi everyone, it's Sue here from Scrappy Do Sue. Hope you're all keeping well. Hope you've all had a good week. Today is Monday um, and I have quite a few videos to try and do today. Do you know I don't know where the weekend went from Friday night right through to this morning. I just don't know where the weekend went and I've been feeling so, so very tired. Um, it's been such an effort to try and do anything, to be honest. Anyway, I'm here now. So, today I'm going to do another episode of the Peacock Journal. And I said, I think, in a previous one that I wanted to make a tassel to go to hang from the spine of the book. So, I've been watching a couple of videos and I've been... This morning I went over again... Tanya at Tatty Treasures video just to see if I could manage it with my stash what I have in my stash so I don't have a great big box of beads or anything so um I have sorted out a few beads here of various sizes I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to remember how to do this and hope that I can thread these I've tried to pick ones with big holes in like this one <laughs> anyway let's see so Tanya use some wire now i don't know what gauge this is i've got no idea uh, i think on the packet it said something like three something um let me just have a look at the packet which i threw away oh there's nothing in the packet at all to suggest what it was all right okay well I'm going to have to use this. So I've got, I bought a pack of these. And these are probably just florist wires. But did say they were suitable for crafting. Having said that, I think they will say anything to get you to buy anything. So I've got a range of colours here. So I've got a lovely, a lovely green and I've got a lovely blue. So I'm going to use those. Okay. So um, the gauge... I mean, I've never made anything with wire in my life. The gauge is quite thin. I've made the sort of hair grip shape that Tanya made to thread the beads through um, to, you know, use as a threader. Um, I've only got this colour um, wax thread, which I use for binding my journals. So we're going to have to use that. OK, so that's that. Maybe if this wire proves a bit thin I could double it up that's what I thought I could do so and I've got these um actually I did I did buy these but I've borrowed my husband's and I can see they're still in my pencil pot so obviously he hasn't needed them but he's a much more heavy duty than these but these are perfect for this this wire so we've got the tools we've got some wire we've got some wax thread now Tanya said measure kind of a foot well I don't think it matters about the wax thread I think you need quite a long piece um so we won't worry about it. but measure say a 12 inch piece of um oh I've got two more colors so I just realized they were buried a lovely bronze and a lovely purple so yeah that was quite a nice pack anyway let's so these are the things I've got so I have got out all the various sort of greens and blues and bits and pieces. Some bits that Tanya at Tatty Treasure sent me in some a bit of Happy Mail with an order that I had from her. So I've got some turquoise. So I've got mainly ribbons. I have cut this ribbon in half down the middle. So it was this width. So I'm keeping some that wide. And so I've got various things. I've got some of this lovely turquoise cord. So we'll cut some of that off. We've got some of this unusual wool. So we're going to have that. Oh, I've already got a piece of that cut off. So we're going to use those. And then I haven't got any decent greens to use of the eyelash trim. So I'm going to use some of these because the Peacock Journal does have blues and greens in it just have a look at the cover i'll just get it it's on my trolley okay so this is what it looks like on the front so these colors will match in very well i think some of these blues will too so we're going to use some of that 
So we've just got a mixture and we've got obviously one of my favourite eyelash trims, which is this lovely um, creamy coloured um, sparkly one. So I'm going to use that. Put the journal back. So right at the very end now, this is one of the last things I want to do. Now, I did write down some notes. So Tanya said, take the longest piece and say 12 inches because you don't want it to dangle past the book. So my book was nine inches high. So if I said, so if you, you take a 12 inch piece and then you're gonna, they're all gonna be folded in half like this. So that will be a six inch piece. So if I just bring the journal back quickly, what I've done is I've already put a hole in here, put a grommet in here, and I've put a, one of these rings through. These are called library rings. I'm hoping this is going to work. So if, say, for instance, we had a 12-inch piece and we doubled it over, can you see that would come down to there? So we could have a, you know, um, a longer piece than that, slightly longer maybe to there. Um, so we have got some room to manoeuvre. So we'll have that piece there. I'm just going to put them to one side as I've chosen them. So you don't need to have them all the same length. I'll make that one a bit longer. Um, this one will make that a little bit longer too. Because it's very fine, that lace. Well, it's sort of... Well, it's not lace, actually. It's ribbon. Sorry, I just... Excuse me, I just knocked my notebook down because I have made notes, as you know. I am a note I am a note taker. That comes with the job I do really. Never without your notes. <laughs> so I think we'll make this one uh, say we'll make this one ten inches maybe, a bit shorter. There, and we can have more than one of each. So this I've already cut down down the middle, as I said. I think if we fold that up, how um, that is going to be the length. So we don't really want that that long. So let's have a look. That would be oh, quite long. So there, that was probably the longest piece, I'd say. Okay, I've even got some fibre here, this lovely turquoise, so that I'm going to put in, so that will be a short piece. Um, we want this here. Again, I don't want it too long, so I'm just going to snip some of that off. Oh, it sounds like they've got helicopters going over again. They've been going over all weekend, so I don't know what's going on. We do get a lot of military ones over. So we don't think we need any more of that. Put that to one side. We've got another piece of this. We might as well use it now. This wool. I don't know what you'd knit with this. I really don't. So I think we'll have that slightly shorter. Um, we've got some velvet, velvet trim here, which is pretty. I'm just guessing these really put that over there right let's get some eyelash thread out trim eyelash trim piece like that um like that one um let's see what else have we got oh this is a well that's a very pretty piece it's very short shall we use that that would be five yeah that would be nice i love that color actually that's here two short pieces so I'm going to keep that one I don't want to use two more Julie at Camellia Craft Design I think I'll be ordering some more of this soon I want to order a few different colours too so I think we'll put some of this one in oh it's all down my throat right this one is very pretty. Where's the end of this one? Um, ooh, not sure. Let's have a look. That would be quite nice too, some extra fibres. So 
have a I might, I might have gone a bit overboard who knows like that one seems to keep wanting to jump off right let's put those back over there okay oh it's all fibers from that eyelash trim right okay i'm a bit nervous about this <laughs> now we're going to lay them out so i've got to oh that one wants to so we're just going to lay them out so that they're kind of equal as equal as can be doesn't matter what order really I just want to get them so that I can fold them in half like so I'm just putting them down in random order but kind of centering them as best I can hope you can see this I think you can Lash trim in there. This is very pretty. Oh, I like this. Yes, that's lovely. That one is. And this is my favourite colour. It's a very sort of deep purple, blue, navy purple colour. Did I tell you that I used to only ever wear navy and black? <laughs> my girls used to go mad when they were growing up. But it's because I used to work in an office in a corporate industry and you wear suits to work right so i'm going to fold them in half like that so i'm going to leave them like that now the next thing we do is we take this so i hope i've got a long enough piece i'm worried that i might not thinking i might save that that will come in handy with something um and i'm going to go for a longer piece because i can always you know, do something with that bit at some point. So I'm going to lift that up. So you put that underneath there like that, kind of halfway. I'm sure this is what Tanya did, according to my very rough notes. And then you're going to tie them like that. Sadly, that I haven't got any um, wax thread that's, you know, decent colour really but this is neutral so it should be all right so there's the tassel it's going to look like that can you see right so now I'm going to lay it back down and keep my threads s s one either side like that and this is what we're threading the beads on okay so I want my homemade threader which I've now buried over here and I've got a few beads. Mine are quite big. I don't really have much, as you say. So we'll we'll start with. Should we have big ones at the top? So we th actually I can thread this without the threader. So we kind of do that, and then we. I think this is what we do. Then we knot it. I'll just put another knot in for good measure like so I hope this is going to look nice so we do one on the other side a biggish one um, yeah I'm just worried that I'm I don't think I want the big ones right at the bottom for some reason I don't know why if this fails I shall just cut this up and we'll start again cut the so if i have it like that oh they will hang like that so i hope that looks all right i'm a bit worried because i've only got this thread um okay well we're going to carry on and we'll take one each that's sort of next size down so i've only got one of those and what else have I got? Uh, I have this silver on one side. Oh, I dropped one earlier before I started the video. And do you know what? It rolled over the floor and I cannot find it anywhere. So let's try this threader. I think you put the... 
pulled through there like that and then this I hate I hate the feel of this wax thread you know it feels very greasy to me <laughs> I don't think this is even gonna go through oh right let's see okay got it through one end it's getting it All right, okay. I think I had it in the wrong end. I, I've never been able to use a, a needle threader ever. Oh, I've bent this now. Right, let's try and pull this through. Oh, I did it. Yes. Oh, it worked. Right. Which end have I got to pull through now? I don't want to. So I have that one about there. Do you know what? I don't know whether I like it tied around the bead like that. Oh mm, well. Okay. Right. So this one I can thread without the needle threader. I put that one there. I've tried to sort of pick colours to go in with the theme. Okay, right. That's those. So what does that look like? Okay. It's a bit odd looking to me, but I don't really know what they're supposed to look like. Yeah, I'm not too keen. Not too keen. I'm just going to take this one off for a minute. Because that's easy to thread. And let's see if we can get... This is the only other thing with this stuff. This wax thread. Once you knot it, it's very, very difficult to get it unknotted. I shouldn't have knotted it, should I? We've got to get it unknotted now. Right, I'll just find a needle in my needle pot. Excuse my arm. Just any needle with a decent end. Let's see if I can just unpick this knot. I'm just going to pause you while I do this. I'm back. I've taken... I've taken them off and what I'm doing now instead is I'm going to knot the base of that um, bead on either side. I didn't like that, I'm afraid. So I'm going to try this way to do it. Um, I may have to just go for the beads with the smaller hole now. Uh, because I can't do a huge knot. I, I will do loose, I will knot it three times loosely like that, so that unless someone actually pulls on it, which I don't think they would do. So that's the start of it, right. Okay. So unfortunately, this one may not get used. I really like that bead as well. Okay, let's see what else have we got. Let's have that one as the topper. Um, so we've got this one we could put on this side. Right, I'm going to need the needle threader now. Now, oh, we've got this one. So we've got this one to put back on here, which I, I think I can thread without the needle threader. Right, so I'm kind of doing them in descending order of size, and I th I don't know that's what my gut wants me to do, you know, it's telling me to do that, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm knotting mine, so I like that effect better, I'm afraid. I mean, I think it's down to personal. If I had different, um, 
if I had different what different what if I had different thread here a different color and different maybe all uniform colored beads I might might get on a bit better so I'm trying to match the same shape so I've got two of those so we've put that one on there um yeah I think I'm gonna run into difficulty so I've got two pearl ones two of those that's to go on the top I think it's all I've got that could go on the top with that one we'll see what about this one then let's put this one on because I was going to use that one for the top but the other one as, as I say has got a massive hole in it which is good for threading but not good for keeping it on this like that okay so that's those right I may not use that one yeah we can do we'll put put that one over here I'm gonna to have to do them a bit closer together so oh I managed to thread that without the threader just quickly knock that I hope this is going to look all right I mean I don't know I think I don't think there's any right or wrong way to do it I'm just using I'm going with my gut because of what I've got to use basically so we put that one on so what we want, we've got this glass one here we can put on this side Probably only needs that, not like that. It's just one more for luck. I like to do things in threes. I know I'm weird. <laughs> right, okay. It's a good job we had a longer length of this. Right, so we want to put these on. I like these. I like the shape. I might not be able to put all of these on. In fact, this might be the last bead to go on, but they're both that colour of the journal, the sort of tealy, turquoisey, greeny colour, peacock colour, really. That's that one. And this one. So we didn't need as many as we got out. So. I think this is how Tanya did it, all on these. Um, I don't think I can thread anything through any of the others. Let's see. I've got some pretty... Now, I'll just have a look at these. What sort of hole have these got? I just... Okay, they're quite big holes. Now, I'm wondering if I can get some on this eyelash trim. Let's use the... There's the threader here, so we want to put that through there, like, oh, it's all fibres, it's very difficult, gosh this wire is thin actually, okay. I'll just try one and see how we get on. I mustn't let that come off there. And oh, so I've done it again, so that needs to go down. told you I'm no good see I'm no good at how do you get that on 
how did I do it last time? I did it somehow, didn't I? So I did it like that. Hold that together. Put that through. And then, see, I think that has to be that side. No, so that, okay, right, okay. Just snip this off a bit. Right, so if I put it through... on I've got it on and that's very pretty that's a very iridescent sort of pearlized now I don't mind tying that one on so I don't think that would look too bad like that okay so let's try the other one with this so just check the hole because I I found some of these beads the hole isn't is actually blocked so i'm going to open this out with my waxy fingers go this is how you do it isn't it it's taken me ages to cotton on really i think now i've got the knack of it yeah i have gosh all these years i've never been able to use a needle threader I'll just have to make sure I'm pulling out the right bit. So again, we'll have that a bit lower down. I better do another knot in that, I think. Let's just have a look. So they're quite pretty, I think, personally, and I will just cut these ends off now. Like so, I think that's probably enough for the first time round. I, you know, I hope this this journal is going to be liked. Right, so that we're going to leave that now. And call that a day. Oh, I know. I wanted to put a couple of charms on. This is like a feather, and this is a leaf or feathery. Hmm. Hmm. Which one shall I put those on? It has to be a long one. Now, they have got fairly big holes, but not big enough probably to go through that. What about, this is very fine. I'm sure if I use this threader, where is it? This is it. If I use this, like that. And we put this one on first. Gosh, my fingers feel all waxy. It's horrible. Right, pull that through. That's it. And we have that on the very last end. We will knot it three times. That reminds me of that song, Knock Three Times. I can't sing, so I shan't even attempt it. On my window if you want me. <laughs> Twice on the pipe. If the answer is no. <laughs> okay, I'm just having a mad moment. <laughs> this has gone to my head. I have achieved something. I managed to do it. Tanya but I haven't finished it yet have I oh well we will see right we're getting it like that and we're going to put this through here like so we've really got the knack of it now that's a clever idea whoever thought that up these fibres are going everywhere 
I love them though. I I love them, and they're always such beautiful colours. Right. Oh, I was very nervous about this. I hope this video is not taking too long. <laughs> oh, go away, Fibre. We don't want you knotted in there. You've got your place down there. Right. <sighs> really tie that tight. Like so now. Okay. Those are my charms, look, and the beads. Now I have to open it back out like so. I think that piece goes over there. All right, then we take the wire. So I think maybe, what should you think? Should we use the green? I think I'm going to double it up. I don't think it's going to be thick enough. So I'm going to double mine up and hope for the best because it's all I have. Right. So now, just looking at my notes, take the wire, lay the piece on top and twist the wire around. Okay, lay it on there. Bring it up. Well, we've got a loop now because we're using it double so we could thread those through there first like so um, I'm going to twist it round a couple of times before I do anything else and then I'll twist that that way and that one that way and then I'm going to tie them in a knot if I can like that. Does that look does that look all right? Tie it in another knot. Then I'm going to put the topper on now. Okay, I hope I've done this all right. Not made a complete hash of it, but it looks all right. Right, so I thought for the topper, I thought we would have. Hold on. This one, like so. So I like that. Um, what else have we got? Put two pearls on the top, could have a, like an extended topper. You can, you do what you like. Oh, you do what you like as long as the beads don't move about. I've got some little green beads, but that hole is so big, I think, <laughs> I think they might go down the hole. I'm just trying this to see what I think. That's quite nice. And then I had... I'm just cutting that, there is the other one, the cutters, just cutting that bit there because I don't like that. I must make sure I pick up all these bits of wire. I don't want Paddy Dog getting them in his paw. And that one there, like so. And what about if we just do, I'm just looking to see what I think this is going to look like, if it looks like a pig's ear as we say oh I like that so now what do I do add bigger bead and cap to finish and make a loop until the wire is used up okay make a loop what about if I thread these back through that like so then I need to make sure that's not going to be right okay push that back out so I need it 
flat down there I don't know how to finish this off so if we twist it like this if I poke I'm gonna have to poke those ends back through there because they're sharp is likely to work <laughs> um. so I make a loop like that and then twist it I just worried that that bead at the top those beads are going to come right off again or I'm going to twist it so far around that I'm going to snap it because I know you can do that with this wire I have got some garden wire actually that's green it's much thicker though so if I gently I wonder if this is going to work so I've made a loop like that I've doubled up my wire I've got that sort of going on at the top there but I don't want to pinch it too tight because I think those beads might come off so that's what mine looks like so I've got my dangles here and here and one here one this side and then two charms so let's bring the journal back in now so right at the end of this so this is what i've put on this library ring they call them i think they're actually rings for a ring binder so they're very hard to get get undone and it's awkward so I only want to really be doing this once get that undone loop that around like so and then I have got one other thing to put on where is it just quickly looking in my basket to find it Just putting on pause, I can't find it. I'll be back a sec. Sorry about that, I'm back again. Um, it was staring me in the face. So I've actually bought these um, dangles a long time ago. I bought a pack of, I don't know, four or five different colours. But I quite like to add that to this one, the one I've made, with that one. It's quite nice actually to look at this to see how it's made. That is another thing I haven't tackled yet, which maybe I will at some point, but not today. So this one will go on to this ring, I think. Oh, my nail. Oof. No, I think that's the wrong way. Let's just put it on like that. And this one I've made i'm not convinced that that so let's have a look at that now and see what does that look like with that ring oh, i'm not convinced that ring is going to be any good you know it's big isn't it i had a smaller one maybe um but that's what it looks like i'm not sure i like that ring i'm not sure i like it uh, I may have to think about substituting that for something else smaller ring or something like that because I've, I've made that in there um, I've got to glue that back down 
but essentially it's got a I, I use the um, cropper dial so that's 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 it really that's everything I thought that would be pretty hopefully that's going to be okay never made one in my life so I'm quite pleased with that it does just come down to the bottom though down to there but you can always trim these up I guess you could always trim them and I could always make that one shorter yeah I might do that actually anyway that's it that's the dangle I've made so there it is in all its glory all the beads I'm glad I didn't knock the rest you know knock them wrap round glad I did it that way hopefully whoever has this journal is going to like this so there it is so oh, it's lovely to feel I'll keep stroking it <laughs> And that dangle there. Right, so that's the tassel made, but I will find a different ring. I'll see if I can get some small ones. I would but think these are the ones I bought were an inch. So I could do with one that's, I don't know, three quarters of an inch. So I'll see if I can find one like that. But there we have it. Now, There'll be one more episode of this after this. We'll just quickly go through and make any bits we need to make. And then we're done. Finished. Okay, and then I'll do a flip through. Okay, so that's me for today. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it's sort of given you um, the incentive to try it. And I hope that perhaps by my mistakes, you've learned something. And you can go ahead and make yours without making the mistakes I've made and that's it really so I look forward to seeing other um, tassels being made thank you very much everyone take care see you soon bye bye